In this video, we'll learn how to install your new Toast hardware. Use this video along with the hardware installation instructions included in the box with your order to assist with install. We also have a great installation guide in Toast Central. We designed the setup to be completed within 30 minutes with simple packaging, color-coded wiring, and easy to follow instructions. We have color-coded diagrams in your installation guide if you happen to be setting things up a bit differently than we'll show in this video. Today's video will cover the setup for a Toast Flex terminal with a Toast printer. If you're using a Toast Hub instead of a Toast printer, check out our guide in Toast Central or your installation instruction booklet for more information. When you open your hardware order, you will find the following items. In the Toast Flex box, you'll find an installation instruction booklet, a small bag full of accessories like stickers to label your terminals and zip ties to organize your cables, a Toast Flex terminal, a purple box labeled Payments. This will contain your contactless reader if you are using the on-counter Toast tab. If you're using the direct attached Toast tab, it will come already attached to your terminal. A yellow box labeled Connect. This box contains two Ethernet cables. An orange box labeled Power. This box contains the power cord, which you'll want to plug in last. If you have a Toast printer, the power supply will plug into the printer and not your terminal. You may also have a Toast Flex for Guest, a secondary guest-facing display screen. We have a version directly attached to the terminal or an on-counter wedge version like this one. Go ahead and unpack those boxes now. In separate boxes, you'll also find your Toast printer. You'll see a receipt printout of the IP address of this printer that comes pre-configured from our Hardware Configuration Center. You'll want to hang on to this, but you'll see this same number on a sticker on the actual printer as well. This box also contains an instruction booklet, sample printer paper, cable to connect to the terminal, and a wall mounting bracket. You may also have a cash drawer. Every cash drawer comes with a cable to connect to your Toast printer. In a small brown box, you'll find your Cisco Meraki router. This is the Toast router you'll use to connect to the internet to allow all of your Toast devices to talk to each other on the same network. The Meraki comes with a bag including a power supply, power cord, networking cables, and wall mounting equipment. You might also have a switch. Switches are designed to expand the number of connections you can connect to a given router. Toast carries a variety of different sizes. If you're using our Toast Go handheld devices, you'll be using wireless access points. We offer an indoor version and an outdoor version. Both of these models come with their own instructions and mounting tools. You can plug these into port number 5 on your Meraki router or into any other Meraki or Toast switch port using the provided Power over Ethernet injector. For more information on this, check out our Toast Central article on installing wireless access points. You may have also purchased the Toast Flex for Kitchen, which will be your kitchen display screen. Check out our Toast Flex for Kitchen setup guide in Toast Central or your installation instruction booklet for help with this. Now that you have everything unboxed, let's dive in. Let's start with your Meraki router. The Meraki has five ports. The first one says Internet. You'll use this port to connect the router back to the modem provided to you by your internet service provider, and you'll use the other four ports to connect Toast devices into. If you have questions about internet connectivity requirements, check out our video on basic site requirements for your Toast install. Let's connect your Meraki router to your modem provided to you by your ISP. Before getting started, make sure there's an open port on your modem. First, take the power cord that came with the router and plug it into the power port on the right side of the router. Plug the other end into a nearby power outlet. Take the network cable that came with the router and plug it into port 1 of the router that says Internet. Plug the other end into an available port on your modem. You'll see the router start to light up with cycling colors as it gets connected. When first connecting your router to the internet, this process may take several minutes. Once it begins downloading the internet configuration from the network, you'll see flashing white lights. Once fully connected with a stable connection, the white will be a solid white. Now let's set up your Toast printer. You can have a standalone Toast printer and you can have a Toast Flex terminal operate on its own without a printer, but in most cases you'll see these being used together, so let's see what that setup looks like. On the back of the printer, you'll see a panel that says Lift to Remove. When removed, you can see the light indicator glossary for your printer. With our cabling, remember yellow means networking, so you'll plug your Ethernet cables into the yellow port. The red port is where we'll plug into the terminal. Orange means power, so you'll plug your power cord into the orange port as a last step. 
The USB ports will come in handy when we connect our ToastTap payment devices. You'll also see a port where you'll connect a cash drawer. Let's connect the router to the printer. First, take an Ethernet cable and plug it into the yellow Internet In port in the printer. Plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into the Toast router. In some cases, your Toast router may be located right next to your terminal. In other cases, it may be located in a back office. In that case, you'll need to run cabling through your walls to connect these devices. For more details on cable management, check out the video on basic site requirements for your Toast install. Now, let's connect the printer to the terminal. Gently flip over the terminal on your counter. Here you'll see the same color coding that we've been working with. Orange is for power, yellow is for network, and here you'll also see green for our guest-facing display, which we'll connect to shortly. When running a network connection through your printer to the terminal, all you need is one cable to power your Toast Flex. This cable will carry your network and your power to the Toast Flex device. If you were using a standalone Toast Flex without a printer, that is where you would connect a network cable here in the yellow port. But if you're connecting through the printer, all you need is one cable. Plug this cable into the red port in the printer that says to stand. Plug the orange end into the orange port in the terminal that says USB-C. Now let's plug in our power cord. Take the power cable that came with your terminal and plug the USB-C side into the printer. Plug the other end of the power supply into a power outlet in the wall. The light on the power supply should turn green. The blue light on your printer is a standby light. You can press the power button to turn the printer on and you should see a green light. Nice work. Let's move on to our payment device. Something to note here, if you have dual card readers, meaning if you have a magnetic stripe reader and a toast tab on the counter, you'll need to make sure your toast flex for guest is connected and functioning in order for the toast tab to function properly. We'll go over the guest facing display part next. Here we have an example of an on-counter toast tab where we'll use configuration A, want to plug into a USB hub. This cable is purple for payments. Plug in the USB side into the USB port in the printer. This printer carries all the information we need back to the terminal. Plug the other end into the Toast tab. On your terminal screen, you should see a pop-up on your terminal that asks, open Toast POS when this USB device is connected. Check the use by default for this USB device box and select OK. If you have a Toast Flex for guest, now is a great time to set that up. Direct attached screens will come already attached to the terminal, but if you have an on-counter wedge version like this one, you'll need to connect it to your terminal. Gently flip your terminal back over for this setup. On the bottom of your Toast Flex for Guest, remember to remove the rubber stopper from the cable and plug it into the cable on the bottom of your terminal. You can press the power button on the stand to turn on the Toast Flex for Guest. Back on your printer, you'll also notice a specific cash drawer port. If you ordered a cash drawer from Toast, it will come with a cable that plugs right into this port in the Toast printer. Now that you have all your peripherals plugged into the Toast printer, you can put the cover back on. Now that all devices and accessories are connected, power on the Toast Flex terminal and follow the Toast setup instructions that appear. Log into your restaurant in the Toast app and complete the basic setup. You may need to update the Toast app when you open it for the first time. Set a device name for this device. Choose a default screen for your employees to see first. If you're a full service restaurant with wait staff, you may want to select table service. If you're a quick service counter concept, you may want to select quick order. You and your employees can always switch between available modes later. Here, you can also turn on digital receipts. You'll then be prompted to enable EMV. Turning on EMV enables this reader to accept chip cards and contactless payments. Select Turn on EMV. Next, select Check for updates to look for updates to your card reader. If you have any updates to install, select Install updates. Once any updates are completed, confirm that yes, you want to enable EMV. Nice work. You can always revisit this device setup at any time. Congratulations, your Toast hardware is now set up and ready to go. For more how-tos and best practices on running a successful restaurant with Toast, visit us at central.toastab.com.